moment, for the time that we set aside for time with the children. We have no children this morning. So I will tell you just a little story. Uh, you can only pretend like you're children. And children are one of the symbols of heaven. Jesus said, as long as we have to come as children to him, pretend like we know nothing. And whenever we read our Bible, the entire Bible consists of, well, it will be a term's life, the children of God. There is nowhere in the says the laws of God. You will not find that. So we have to come as children. And way back when, in the early days, when God, who was only God who created, <coughs> there were always some who taught that they were smarter than God. It still happens today. We still think. Sometimes we go to school, we get a degree, and then we can contest him. But God was God before we came into this world, right? And there was a group of people that was, well, they were after the flood of Noah, and they thought they did not have to listen to God. So what is God supposed to do? They decided we can build our own heaven. And they started to build a tower. And they kept building for days and weeks and months and years. And they said, our tower will get to heaven if we keep building. So then we will get to heaven. We don't need God. Many of you know, or probably know, the name of the tower was called the Tower of Babel, Babel. How many of us know that? We've heard that term before. Yes. And they decided to build. But in those days, heaven was not that far away. I think I have said many time, times that the more we sin, the heavens get further from us. Heaven was not that far away. And God realized they will get there if they keep building. So what was God supposed to do? God, being God, stepped in and confused their language. So just about everyone or many would speak one language and another group would be speaking a different language and they could not communicate. So there was confusion in the languages. Because if we're building something together, I have to understand what you're telling me. For example, if I say to you, pass me a rock or a brick with some cement, you can't understand what I'm saying. So that building or that tower got stalled because they could not understand what the other one was saying. Hence, this is where we got our languages. <coughs> So in case you were wondering this morning, even in our world right now, I can't tell you how many languages there are, how many dialects to a language, but just so we can all take in this morning that this was the birthplace of languages. There was a time on earth when everybody spoke one language. And because of rebellion, People trying to be rebellious against God. We have so many languages. But God understands them all. Every language, every creed can still come to Jesus. Doesn't matter what language you speak, God is able to understand. Amen. <laughs> 